I mean, a bit high. Yeah. I feel like we've not gone live in ages. Yeah, because we missed up last week, don't we? Yeah. <coughs> Hello, on. We're in. Yeah. Hello. Good afternoon. Hope you're all well. Thank you. We've just started now, so uh, anyone just joining, we're just getting started. Uh, thank you for joining us this afternoon. Just see news coming in. Afternoon. We are. Who are we? <laughs> we, we just are. said we haven't done a live in like two weeks and now we've probably forgotten how to do live so yeah so we're morgan brandon a marketing agency based in Warrington in the uk and um, we specialize in web design social media tiktok uh, graphic design branding photography anything really that you need help with for your business so we do lives weekly, basically talking about TikTok, how businesses can use TikTok, how you can grow on TikTok, generate sales through TikTok. Uh, so we do these lives every Thursday at one slash half one p.m. <laughs> Depending on when we have our lunch. Tia here from PKF SCS. Hi, Tia. How are we doing? Let's see what you guys do. Smith, award-winning Sage business partner. Do you know what Sage is? Good test. Isn't it a cool <laughs> It is a cool <laughs> Sage is an accountancy software. So probably one of the most famous accountancy software. So you guys are a part of that. Hope you, looks like you've just got started on TikTok and just looking at your account, um, posting your first video. So well done, keep going, keep going. I want to make clothes from chicken legs. Any advice? Probably skip that. Um, I'd always think it's good to think of off-cop products, but I'm not sure that's going to go down well in a world where vegans are taking over nowadays. No, not I think quite. ethically sourced clothing uh, doesn't include getting clothes from chicken legs. We could tell you how to market them once you've uh, got them going. <laughs> advice, don't. That's coming from an accountant though as well, so uh, that's uh, good advice. So yeah, we jump on these lives, talk about lots of different things, uh, usually dive in and answer a load of questions, um, but also we tend to start with giving updates on what's going on in the world of TikTok, what's going in our world, what we've been doing with TikTok, um, and then dive in and answer any questions as we go, and we'll try and get through all the questions as we go through. So if you've asked a question and we've not quite got to it yet, either nag us again or, or come back to it. So uh, thank you to everyone that's joining. We are a marketing agency that specialises in lots of different areas, but a big focus on, on TikTok and how to grow on TikTok. Us personally, nearly at 25,000 followers uh, now. So we are kind of practising what we preach with our own TikTok. Uh, through TikTok, we tend to get uh, where are we are now. Probably two or three uh, mailing list people joining our mailing list a day. And Probably about at the minute it's around one inquiry a day. It's it's really picked up the last uh, couple of weeks. Again, we're going to go through uh, a bit today on what you've changed with our TikTok, where we've gone from um, well, it was kind of like from, five or ten followers a day we were getting yeah, to like ten below fifty. You know, nothing higher than that. It was like ten, twenty, thirty followers a day. And um, so I revamped our strategy because. If, if you know us and if you know me, <coughs> I um, I work with businesses on TikTok and do their strategy. So I'll do a call with them, teach them how to do their own strategy. But it's sometimes a little, um, you know, you get into the routine of doing it for everyone else and then you forget, forget oh, yourself. I need to do it for us as well. So. We, we often say, and I'm chatting to people sometimes about their website, and they go, don't come and then critique our website. Kind of do as we say, not as we do. Um, but kind of we, I don't know if people got into the swing of that with, with TikTok, we've grown quickly to kind of 20k, yeah. the growth from 10 to 20 has been quite quick, yeah, so and then, then it kind of like tailed off. Yeah, because again, like like I said, I've kind of not revamped the strategy, I was just sticking to the same thing that I've been doing for, you know, however Six many months. months. probably, yeah. Um, so I had a, a sit down, a big plan. What is funny about that? Because <laughs> I can just imagine you like going, I'm going to make a plan today. Have you not seen it? 
your plan. Yeah, it's so cool. The I actually need to look at it because something I wanted to chat about today was repurposing TikTok content to other platforms, which is what we've been dabbling with. And I think we need to build that into your plan. So we're kind of like making a plan within a plan within a TikTok live. Yeah. something I actually need to speak to Anna about. So we'll so chat to you basically guys. Basically, made this big new plan, big new strategy. And now we've gone from generating like 10, 20, 30 followers a day to 200, 300, 400, 500 followers per day. So obviously, that's a huge increase i think we said it was about a 20 percent increase in followers over the last month oh yeah i was getting distracted by john's comments but yeah 20 we, we, when i looked today it was we're getting about 100 to 150 followers a day so we've gone from 21k ish to 25k in four weeks so we've kind of had another huge growth which is as anna said when i looked at it i was like we've grown 20 percent over the past four weeks which is crazy and then this week i think We've grown 5% more followers this week. And I can see it. So obviously, we try and say to people, don't get bogged into the um, numbers. Don't like worry about likes and views all the time. You need to make a plan and stick to it. But we often see, we see huge, huge increases in like inquiries, uh, mailing list subscribes. I get data on our website and I suddenly see a huge spike in our website hits. We get at the moment, I saw this this morning actually, uh, yesterday we had a hundred hits just from TikTok alone on our website. So a hundred hits a day on our website from TikTok, which I think is is staggering. So uh, obviously we sell a service, not even a product. You know, it's not as interesting in as in in my opinion as selling a product. Yeah. So um, for you guys who are kind of just getting going on TikTok or even just into it, we've had some guys that are kind of at 60, 70, 80 k, and they've seen themselves kind of get a bit more stagnant it's not yeah. going as well as they wanted to and then they change something and go again and it can go go huge so that's what we're going to chat through what we've done we have a few people with um jokey comments in the comments yeah, I today seen any, like, um, I, we prop our phone up over, over there but we can't actually see the comments so we look on calm's phone what's going on so if so, we're looking down that's i'm going to go through the comments try and skip over john if i've just looked at your page you're traveling the world and <laughs> You're just having a laugh now, aren't you? Uh, right. So John had said, I want to market my used socks. But actually, as a bloke, you've got no chance. Like uh, women, there is money in used socks. Yeah. But we'll skip over that. I want to make a business for selling dust. Like, is don't. still John? Yeah, or okay. John. I'm allergic to dust, so I won't be buying that. Um, I think selling dust is a great idea. I'm not sure that is. The other joke was, not. I don't know if this is a joke or not. Uh, he's put, I sold five litres of air yesterday, so uh, we'll skip over that. And uh, Weasel in the Bug said, hey, so hey to our friends, Katie, Weasel oh, in the Katie, Bug. Oh, Katie, you walked at me and I haven't replied. Ah. Sorry. She's <laughs> sat here on TikTok Live and you've not even responded to her WhatsApp. No, because I've been editing the videos and Katie said, I was planning on messaging you back. Um, it was only today. She messaged and said, Katie, what did you say? I think she said, did it work? Because I was telling her about that repurposed stuff. Oh, yeah. So we'll have a gab about repurpose.io today because we've I've been dicking around with it. I've just got to the end of the free trial. Obviously, we don't have loads of results because we've only just been messing around with it. Yeah. Um, but I can talk through about doing it because it was quite quite interesting. Um, love Lola Handmade Crafts. Hello again. How are we doing? I forgot your name. I think we had it last time. I can't remember your your, your name, but thank you for... You said it last time. I, I will remember it. <clears throat> I've spoke to her. I need to know it now. Anna's Googling. Holly Ben said, how many times do you cry in a week? I don't know if that was a serious question or a, or a joke question. How many, what? How many times do you cry in a week? How many times? It really just depends on the weather. <laughs> <laughs> Once a week, Anna cries over a TikTok, probably, <laughs> is, is the truth. Um, I don't know what's going on here. We've, we've not quite hit the business side of today. No. <laughs> Mam Mammoth Mogul. Can I get a free t-shirt and a shout out to my mum? I don't give away free t-shirts one day. Do you do maths debate? No. I, th I think um, it's funny we always say about TikTok driving us to, to business. Obviously, we talk, we're in marketing, crying is a regular occurrence. Yeah, that is true. So... The people we're trying to attract are people um, either with small businesses or working businesses that want help with their marketing on TikTok. So anything outside of that is not really our demographic. But 
when you go live on TikTok, it tends to spread into. Anna once got called Mo Salah, which I was like, Oh, to well, bring we don't have to drink. It's Louise. Louise. There Hi, we Louise. go. We got that back. I knew we'd remember. Just had to, had to look, it would have bugged me a lot. So, we got some uh, questions about repurpose.io. So, <clears throat> we have been toying around with scheduling tools, how to kind of move our TikToks from TikTok to other platforms because our growth on TikTok has been a lot bigger than our growth on other platforms. And I've been going, oh, we need to really get these to other platforms. Anna's talked around tools in the past of how to get your TikToks off TikTok with the watermark removed. So yeah. screen record or... Yeah, so you can either screen record it before you post it or snaptick.app, it's a website and you basically just copy the TikTok link, paste it into the website, and it'll download without the watermark on, so you can post that to Instagram, YouTube Shorts, whatever. However, repurpose.io also does it. So repurpose.io um, is a repurposing website, so taking content from one platform to another. It's not just about TikTok, it's about anything. You can do Facebook, you can do your podcast, you can do all sorts. Um, so far, so good. Dead easy to set up, like really easy to set up. Uh, dead easy to um, do so um, once you've got it set up like I mean five ten seconds to post a TikTok from TikTok to another platform and it they remove the watermark they post it you can change your caption you don't just kind of repost it it reposts it properly what I've tried is I've managed to do it from TikTok to Facebook, TikTok to Reels, TikTok to Twitter, TikTok to Pinterest, TikTok to LinkedIn, TikTok to YouTube Shorts, and also TikTok to like our Google Drive. So we have a Google Drive where we store all our stuff so we can take the videos off TikTok. Each time Anna posts a new TikTok, it shows. You can schedule in Does posts. It, it knows all your posts and I can see it all. It looks really good. We'll do, we'll do some videos on it. Um, however... The only thing that annoys me a little bit, but I kind of get it, and then you should maybe be repurposing and changing your caption fit for every platform, is I can't click like move TikTok to Facebook, Insta, and LinkedIn. I have to kind of manually do each one, yeah. but it's so fast that I, I shared about this live, so you did a reply on TikTok about the live this morning. I got that, post on Facebook, post on LinkedIn, post on Twitter, really? and it's, a, it's so easy to do. So we're going to be looking more about like, We've just been seeing other creators saying like they're doing really well on YouTube Shorts or Reels, and we haven't really been sharing our TikToks to Reels and YouTube Shorts. The only difficulty that I've had, which is what I'm going to discuss as part of Anna's plan, is when Anna's recording the TikToks, a lot of our TikToks are very heavy about TikTok. Yeah. So we need to make a plan of content that will work on TikTok and work on other platforms. And then yeah. when it is that content, we share that around everywhere. That is in my plan. That is in your plan. So that will be okay. Because obviously one discussion that we've got is we work with businesses to help them grow on TikTok. Now you guys are already on TikTok and using TikTok because you're on our lives. A lot of the, our audience that we've grown from are already on TikTok. So we're trying to now go a bit wider to get the people that are still sat on Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn and all these other places, but aren't necessarily on TikTok yet. So we can drag them to TikTok and then drag them to our TikTok is the, the, the master plan. Yeah. Um, and, and you talk, you talked a lot about like TikTok SEO. I am seeing so much about TikTok SEO. And it, that just happened like that. It just gone I crazy. Said, on, on that day, I said, I, I, I use TikTok for SEO. And then since I said that, I haven't even seen, I haven't seen much about it. The listen. It's just all gone on. So we, TikTok about SEO. So SEO is search engine optimization. So the, the people call it TikTok SEO. We were doing a training day and I was like, Twana, oh, well, the thing is you do, you entertainment and you do all your entertainment on TikTok and then I'd go to Google yeah. and search and Anna was like Callum was like yeah you remember the nobody don't searches. use TikTok to search and I was like oh you do I do yeah <laughs> I, I I don't really like I was saying oh you don't use TikTok in the same way that we're using it for business and Anna was like I do I went to Barcelona and I chose everywhere I went in Barcelona Literally, I made a list on my phone and planned my entire trip based on what TikTok told me to do and then I've seen this now and then not only that but TikTok's rank on Google so I sort of think if you uh, saw so, so an example of somebody googling uh, this why have I picked this name to say Robert Lewandowski who is a footballer and if you google Robert Lewandowski underneath him I think 
there was videos and three were from YouTube and three were from TikTok. So somebody that's done something about Robert Lewandowski on TikTok is now being shown on top of Google. Mm. So if you do something to do with your business that would also rank on Google, Google is ranking TikTok videos. Obviously, there's a thing here because Google owns YouTube and this is why I'm looking at YouTube shorts more because I wouldn't be surprised if all the best content at the minute is on TikTok, not YouTube Shorts, yeah. if they start pushing YouTube Shorts a little bit to show on Google there. But people are searching TikTok, people are getting their information from TikTok, therefore you need to get your videos on TikTok yeah. for people to get that information. And I can't believe how much I've seen this phrase, TikTok SEO, um. since. And uh, the discussion is that a lot of this like SEO ranking, and um, so TikTok SEO is your videos being searchable within TikTok. But there's another factor to this is your TikTok videos are searchable on Google. Uh, and some discussion that I saw is taking some of this stuff is coming away and away from Pinterest. So if you think of somebody doing Pinterest is really common in travel, home and weddings is, is three factors yeah. that Pinterest is super strong. At. So anyone that's got a new home, anyone that's got uh, planning a wedding tends to use Pinterest and Pinterest ranks really highly on Google. If you Google it, you know, wedding decorations or whatever or wedding table toppers or wedding ideas or wedding gift ideas pinterest used to be the place to go that is going to flip and it's going to be tiktok so there will be loads of other industries that tiktok is the place to get that information and you guys selling the product into these industries need to make sure you're making videos that are educational entertaining informative around these topics so um we'll we've had questions yeah so uh PKF SCS says we're in marketing crying as a regular occurrence. Yeah, agreed. What? She said we're in marketing crying as a regular occurrence. <laughs> when something doesn't work, when you're having a bad day, when yeah. a client says something nas nasty, whatever. Can you put a link to that in the chat? I think that might yeah, be repurposed.io. Yeah. Um, I don't need to see what. Yeah, see if, see if Anna can find it. it. I think literally, if you just Google repurposed.io, I'm sure it'll come top. Repurposes in like repurposing content. Should be, I think we can get like an affiliate link. So like, don't do it, and then I'll get an <laughs> affiliate link, and then we get a kickback. Uh, where are you guys based? We're in Warrington, in the northwest of England, in between Manchester and Liverpool. Yeah, it literally is just repurpose.io. So yeah, that's all you have to say. Love Lola. Uh, Louise said, "I've completely lost." my confidence in creating content this month, repurposing will help massively. The only thing that we've done with repurpose though is, is we've repurposed TikTok to other platforms. So if you've got reels or any video content, I can't remember specific, but basically if you've got any vertical video content anywhere else, yeah, podcasts, I think there's some stuff in repurpose.io that you can move audio to TikToks. Uh, but if you've got reels, you'll be able to get them to TikTok. Uh, obviously, Repurposing your TikToks to other platforms is great, but you still need to keep kind of flowing with your new TikToks, which is why Anna will talk a lot about um, batch creating content and like you will lose your flow at points and like you. Oh yeah, it's happened to me like daily. You know, with on the days you're crying. Yeah, no, it, it does happen. What about this sometimes. weekend? Did you do any TikToks this weekend? Listen to this, right? <laughs> On Tuesday, England people, you know how hot that day was. What was I doing? I don't know. TikTok. Filming TikTok. I was sweating. I wanted to cry. I didn't want to do that. And more so because this is Anna's first day since her 21st birthday that she was probably yeah, compass, compass mentis enough to film any TikToks without them being completely broken. Yeah, so, so I had no TikToks left because I was off and wasn't filming TikToks on my birthday. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was like, I've got to film these TikToks even though I don't really want to. And it's 40 degrees. And it's 40 degrees. Like, in front of where I film my TikToks, we've just got these big, like, what are they called? You know them slidey doors? Oh, bifolds. Yeah. Right. And so, well, not, not like that. I know. Like, it's big, oh, yeah. Ones, like, two massive doors, anyway, that are glass. And it, so the, the sun just shines directly on. And I was like, I can't do this anymore. I literally had the fan. You could have come to the office though, that was the other plan. That, I wasn't With air conditioning know, and whatever. So these lot are all sat at home moaning that it's too hot, but in the office I was sat there in 23 degrees, it was absolutely beautiful. Well, yeah, so sometimes the moral of that story was sometimes you don't feel You just feel don't like feel like doing it. So when you do, batch create, yeah. get a plan, get loads done in one session. Yeah. Um, Nutty Little Luxury said, How much do you charge and do you use educate? 
generally about SEO. So how much do we charge is a very broad question because we have loads of services from probably the cheapest thing at like 25 quid to the most expensive thing at probably 20,000 pounds. So it depends on what it is. Yeah. TikTok stuff, we have one-on-one -on -one coaching, we have a one-on-one -on -one strategy call that's 150 quid yeah. plus that. We have monthly coaching, which is 350 quid plus that. Yeah, that includes a personalized content plan. In so you get your plan. anyone wants any content ideas. Um, we have like content creation that we do. So we'll do your TikToks for you or do an element of your TikToks for you that starts at 450 plus that. Um, we have audits, which are fifty pounds at the moment. And these are all TikTok stuff. We've got hashtag lists. We're going to be releasing our TikTok training, which we've recorded in the studio. We're just waiting for the videos to get edited and get back to us. That's going to be, we think, about twenty five quid. I think for yeah. a one off video, maybe some package stuff. So we've got stuff like that. Then we do websites. They tend to be about a thousand pounds ish. Logos, two hundred quid. Um, other social media, the list is Instagram, <laughs> lots of stuff, but. Hey, I know the prices. I know, yeah. I'm getting sorted yeah, on good. the prices. Um, do you educate g about general SEO? So, <sighs> hmm. SEO is the thing is, if we put a video up about SEO, we get a million views. It's a it's a good topic to talk about. But my issue with SEO is, I was comparing the marketing agency world to like double glazing window salesmen, where basically everyone sells SEO, but the product is always shit. You say I can't swear on TikTok Live, so... Oh my God, yeah. I've just broken a TikTok Live. The product is always very bad. I haven't come across many people that are really good at SEO, aside from business owners that know their business that do it themselves. There is a book. In fact, this is handy. Called They Ask, You Answer, which isn't an SEO book, but is probably my favourite SEO book that, that teaches you seo strategy and how to do seo strategy but it, it talks about it it's coming from you now there will be people there is seo experts out there that are very good at their job but for most small businesses the seo people buy and what we see people sell they pay 250 a month 500 quid a month and absolutely nothing happens and they just pour money down the drain they're scared to stop it because they don't know if it's working or not and they're they're, they want to carry on because they want to be top of Google. So SEO for me is always a minefield where I feel like personally I know a lot about it, but I don't talk about too much because A, we don't sell it because I'm scared of selling it because I just don't know if we, we've done it and sometimes the results are good, to, sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe, <laughs> you know, it, it is like that, that we've got clients that we've done the same thing for and it goes well and it goes bad and I'm like, oh, so it scares me to sell it, whereas I like selling stuff where I go, if, if somebody has an hour with Anna, I know uh, before and after that hour, the, the money they've spent is, is well worth it. If we do a thousand pounds worth of SEO stuff, it might not do anything and it might do anything. And I just don't like that element of guessing really. Yeah. It is well, important. Uh, like we have some stuff that we rank top of Google for. You've got a blog at the minute about like TikTok banned hashtags, I meant to say, that does really well. Do you know about why is TikTok removing my comments? That does well, but does it lead to any work? Probably not. We had a Christmas blog doing well. We had another. We have the odd thing that does well on our website. We had. I tell you what worked well for us for a while. We had uh, startup packages that ranked really well. So startup business packages, but I've always really struggled with it. There are people that are fantastic. I'm not denying that, but a lot of people spend a lot of money and waste a lot of money on SEO, which is why I've always dodged it basically. Um, probably need to do more on educating but my issue is if we educate people then ask us to do their seo and i'm like i don't really want to so i just get a bit stuck i, I tell you what we might educate around is like the definitely don't do this or this definitely won't work or if your seo person is doing this but i always feel that's not like solutions that's just giving people more problems like don't do this don't do that don't do the other it doesn't necessarily help um I didn't know TikTok SEO was a thing. To be honest, when Anna said TikTok SEO, I was like, she just really made up a phrase. Mm -hmm. And then I see it everywhere now. So, yeah. Would somebody look at our reels for honey and for IGs? So, you put, would somebody look at our reels and see if they work from IG to TikTok? My gut is, yeah, they will. If something works as a reel, it'll work as a TikTok. The only thing I... I don't really like the Instagram to TikTok thing okay. because TikTok have said that if you're posting a video 
so before I go into this, Instagram, I've never said this. So TikTok's to Instagram, fine. But when you're posting Instagrams to TikTok, in the TikTok community guidelines, it says that you can't, they won't push a video that is repurposed from another platform. They want it. They want it made in TikTok made in with TikTok. TikTok text. If it's got Instagram text, none of the text in the video it's is readable. searchable. So TikTok SEO, I have a question. Um, but yeah, just uh, you can do it. Okay, and so a lot of people do do it and it does work for them. So if it works for you, fine, do it. How about this? But, if you've got loads of reels, and this is about we're doing this with repurpose.io, we're not saying it's correct, we're not saying it's right, we're just trying to work it out, try stuff see what works, if it works, do it, if it doesn't work, bin it. So maybe, let's say you've got 10, and this might take a bit of effort, but if you've got 10 and they've all got like Instagram text over them, is maybe just use something like repurpose.io and it's free for 10, is repost five and then take five out, put them in TikTok and edit them as a TikTok and then post five. So t- yeah. strip the video off it. If you can't get rid of the Instagram text and redo the Instagram text, if you've got any Instagram text, you might not even have any Instagram text, but we know that TikTok is reading that text, using that text to decide whether it goes in the FYP, who to push the content to. So if you've got Instagram text on it, or saying that, text made in any other platform, i.e. video editing software, Premiere Pro, whatever, we, we get asked this question a lot. Where do you do your TikToks? We do all our TikToks or we record all our TikToks in TikTok. We don't use Premiere Pro and or iMovie or whatever. We use TikTok to edit our TikToks. Yeah, and so, you know, a lot of big accounts do do the editing elsewhere and stuff and it works for them, which is fine. But, but I would think, it do better if they did it in TikTok? I think if they were filming them in TikTok, using TikTok text, they would do better. Much more. Yeah, I agree. Sorry, I'm just reading questions here because they get distracted. Uh, while Colin is reading, if everyone wants to give us a like, get the likes up. What are we on now? 375. Let's and we've got 21 to... people watching, so that we're... Yeah, yeah. let's get the likes to 1,000 people. While I read Double questions. Tapping. So, uh, Fragrant Nerd, I'm always struggling with these TikTok names and have to be careful. Fragrant Nerd says, I only search for my own TikToks, which is, which is fine. By TikTok SEO, I think SEO, as it applies to TikTok content, not on platform search exclusively. I think, I think of SEO as it applies to TikTok content. So, yeah, I'm talking about TikTok SEO, meaning, like, how a user searches TikTok. So, Anna, when she went to Barcelona, will have put restaurants, things to do in Barcelona, restaurants in Barcelona, tapas in Barcelona, you know, hotels in Barcelona. So she is searching within TikTok and I'm, whether this is the right technical correct term, I'm calling that TikTok SEO, i.e. the videos that show there are optimised, whether the user, whether the person uploading it is meant to do this or not, because we get that a bit, that somebody goes, well, look, this video shows, but they've not done any of the things that Anna said I should be doing. I go, yeah, that will still show because TikTok knows it but why not make it easier for tiktok don't make it hard if you search a phrase like any phrase then the four top videos that will appear i guarantee there will either be text in the video or in the caption that is that you know telling keywords in that phrase it's a given so and why not you know this is the same as we get in real life seo is sometimes you google a phrase and a website that shows first isn't hasn't got any of good SEO practice and then the second website does everything SEO perfectly and it's second so this is what we talk about in this that this isn't like do all these things and you will show this is do as much as you can to make it as easy as possible and you're more likely to show just bash your mind and so I think we've answered that yeah, so Dolan Bone said, any tips for making content without access to the physical product I'm advertising? So... What would... Dolan Bone, you've been on before, haven't you? So They do jewellery, I think. I Is the reason you haven't got access because you never will have access, i.e. you drop shipping a product, or is it because it's a new product? I would say it's quite... Yeah, obviously with jewellery, it would be best to show off the jewellery. 
but there is content that you can do without showing that jewellery so you could kind of like for example we obviously don't have any physical products and i post three like TikToks, tiktoks a day yeah. so you know you i think the key thing if you're not showing a physical thing would be kind of educating people so like you know style and jewelry tips summer summer jewelry trends and kind of talking to people about these different things and you can insert images of the jewelry on screen if you've not got them physically uh, and have different things popping up as you're kind of talking about them that's probably and if, if it's way. because you are drop shipping because we've had this in the past where somebody's drop shipping so they don't hold physical product some of my advice would be a to buy your best performing product buy one yourself so that you've got it and you can use it we get clients come to us and we always want product so that's always what i lean on is that it, it is easier if you've got product but sometimes people have designed the product and they don't have that product yet it's still in manufacture or whatever so you might be able to take people through the process of um how you're designing the product i've seen my watch guy that i like do you, do you come across him yeah. he came on my yeah. personal one so later. watch oh, what's he called what's hagley west tim hagley west is he shows the designing of his product. So he might not have that product in his hand. And he's going, which one do you prefer, this or this? So he's kind of including people in his discussion as a designer. It's because I run this for my friend who runs the business, but I live elsewhere. So, and we have this, get them to try and get them to send the product to you. We, we've got businesses that we're working with in Australia, America, Canada, and they all send us product. So they send product to here, uh, often they let us keep it, which is very nice of them. Thank you very much. But if if it was expensive stuff, they might ask us to send it back, and we and we would. It wouldn't be a problem. So I, I would because I think it's important to show the product. But yeah. there are ways or, around. Or you know, if if that's kind of not in the question, just ask your friend to maybe send ten videos, of the you know, products. decent videos of the products, and then you can come up with how to apply them to trends, how to you know what what text to add, what sounds to add, things like that. Um. But yeah, like Carl said, it is probably better to have the products in at least some of your TikToks. Uh, but you know, it not all of them need to have the, the product in. Bernard. Bernard. I never know how to say the word. The name. Bernard or Bernard? I, I never we remember. We still get this wrong. <laughs> Uh, our goalkeeping friend said hi go and check out his page really cool i wonder uh, if katie's still in here whether you guys chatted i see loads of videos about your uh, daughter's goalkeeping whether they've chatted yet or not i don't know um fragrant noted i've had more views on a single tiktok than all my insta and youtube combined and exactly the same for us we'll have one or two videos here that have got more views than everything else we've got on every other platform, which is partly why I'm trying to move some of the stuff around to go, I wonder if a TikTok that has 100k views, but we've tried it, the Canva one, do you know, they just don't, get 2,000, 3,000. Yeah, on TikTok, we've got, we just uploaded recently a video that got like 150,000. And it gets nothing on Reels. And it got like 1,000 on Reels. I think we just need to be more consistent on Reels, is my goal. Yeah. I think if we, bear in mind Anna posts two or three times a day, on TikTok at some point, we need to get to the same level on, on um, reels. reels and shorts and see if that does. And when it, when it does or what, whatever happens, we'll, we'll let you guys know and see how that goes. NS Design Call says, what budget uh, a small business need to start to work with you guys from Norbert? So uh, do this bit, it, it, it depends. So the, the, the usual first step in TikTok for us at the minute, aside from buying a hashtag list or a, um, a, oh, an off-the-shelf, an audit or a video off us, is the strategy call with Anna. And that's often, I would think, probably the best value for money thing that we're doing at the minute. So we charge 150 quid plus that, which gets you an hour with Anna, but obviously she does a load of prep before, a bit of follow-up afterwards. And to be honest, most of them have come out the back of that and then had something else off us afterwards. So they've kind of taken that to be able to push themselves forward. Yeah, I think with the strategy call, if... You know, if, if that one fifty is in the budget, um, like it, it is the most kind of beneficial thing that I, I think any business would would kind of benefit from because we we go through everything that you need to have that successful TikTok profile. So and sometimes, like I know, because Anna Anna's discussed this with me and we've chatted about it. Go well do we need to sell this and, and, and what and the, all the information that Anna really does in the strategy calls is on our TikTok feed but what it is is packaged up in a way and it's then personal to your business to pretty much tell you what to do and I think that is the key is that 
sometimes, and I say this to Anna, is like, if I say to Anna, come up with an idea for this, you come up with 30 ideas, I'd sit there like scratching my head, no idea. That's what she's dead good at. And you've then got a way to go away with a plan to just go and do. You don't have to think. A lady was emailing us the other day and she literally was saying that, wasn't she? She was saying, I just, I can't even think about ideas. I'm too busy. I just want somebody to tell me what to do. Can you tell me what to do? And then obviously Anna can tell her what to do and, and away she goes. So fingers crossed that will work. Um, Error transcription said, love your content. Uh, Cherico say, hi Morgan, great videos. So we're called Morgan Branding. My name is Callum Morgan, and this My name is, is Anna. Anna. Everyone always calls me Morgan. Yeah. Everyone says hi, Morgan. Yeah, but thanks for this, Morgan. They always, I get, but I get it. It's not even my, my, my last name or my first name. Um, I'm told one should publish TikTok the same time of the day. My data doesn't back this up. What do you think? So should he post TikToks at the same time every day? Nah. I That's how much face there. Nah. Yeah, like, I don't, and I don't for clients, just post when, you know, obviously, TikTok's lifespan is huge. I did a video a couple of days ago that one of our videos I posted in July last year, 2021, has now got nearly 100,000 views, and at that time it only had about 1,000, and it's getting, like, loads of likes and loads of engagement now, so... I can't I'll tell you what, in... in, in uh, should they post at the same oh, yeah. time every day? So that was just posted on a random day. There would have been no kind of thought behind it and it's blew up now. So I don't think the time that you post is essential. Obviously, you can look at your analytics. You can see when your followers are active and post then if you want to. But I don't this, think This This was a big thing that people got into in like Instagram and Facebook. And I do think it was more important when your timeline was in like a chronological order. Mm. But TikTok isn't in a chronological order. You don't see the first post first and the last post last. Yeah, so if it was chronological, then I think that's definitely... And, and that's what people did on Instagram. They were like, you need to post at 3.03 p.m. And that is it. And I'm like, and even then I was still like, Whoa. Yeah, but then everyone starts posting at that Three time. Like, I saw a thing that was like, you know, LinkedIn, you need to post on the commute and on the way home. And then COVID happened and then nobody's commuting. <laughs> so, wow. so I've always said, don't try and like beat the system. Like yeah. if, you, if you're trying to game a thing and go, right, the best time to post is 3.05 and I need to post then. My gut is, Take your energy and your brain power that you've been thinking about posting at what time and make a better video. More energy and impact into your video and your plan will do far more than, than worrying about time. Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, Love Lola said uh, uh, she's going to get batch creating this weekend. So we will watch, we will follow <laughs> up. Uh, Fragrant Nerd said uh, I use Yoast, which is Fresio. Yeah. But again, with Yoast, a lot of people kind of put it on the website and then don't do anything with it, and that won't help for SEO. Just putting Yoast on doesn't do anything. You have to do the thing that Yoast tell you. So again, really, really important. Yoast is fantastic, though. We, we use it. And said, I stopped editing in iMovie as they did no better. From what Anna just said, kind of TikTok is saying, we will... Whether we'll reward or we won't punish you, regardless, it's just better to do it from TikTok to TikTok. And the more you edit within TikTok, the better you will get anyway. Yeah, okay. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll read, we've got comments galore here now. I'm catching up. While Callum's reading, keep the likes, the likes coming. <laughs> We're up we to now? 1K. So Let's yeah. get to 2K likes. Keep double tapping. Keep pushing, don't you? Definitely gives us a lot of ideas for hooks, thank you. How can we upload videos to TikTok after downloading them for something else? We feel that useless. We take the video from our camera roll, they don't get any views at all. How do big TikTok accounts just re-upload other videos and get millions of views? Do you want me to go through that slower? I didn't hear any of it. So, got loads of ideas for hooks, which is great. How can we upload videos to TikTok after downloading them for something else? So when they're on the camera roll, you can then put them straight to TikTok, can't you, from your camera roll? Yeah. Yeah. So you should just be able to import from your camera roll to TikTok. But what Anna's saying is, like, if that's got text overlaid from other uh, videos or even audio, let's say you're using a trending audio from re the reel and you've taken that off, put the text and put the audio in t TikTok itself. Don't put it from the original video. Uh, how do big TikTok accounts just re-upload other videos and get millions of views? Uh, 
once you're a big account, the issue is, if you're a big account doing the same thing over and over again, TikTok knows that and is rewarding that. Now, I do think some of this will be clamped down on a lot of it is copyrighted content, you know, TikTok will catch up, but in reality, TikTok wants people on the platform, it wants lots of views. So it depends what type of content you're going after. We're not like nicking content from anywhere and posting on our channel. So all the content we're doing is like bespoke and we've yeah. made it. We're not just taking videos from elsewhere. Uh, but when you, do, the, the reality of it is, if you've got something, let's say on YouTube, that's in the landscape, that is a really great video, it's likely it can work on TikTok. It isn't ideal because it's landscape, but give it a go over not posting it and then see. But if there's some way that you can turn that video from landscape and make it portrait and make it more TikTok-y or stand in front of a landscape video and turn kind of a bog standard video into a TikTok, I think the key thing is is to make TikToks not videos is, 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 is one of the biggest factors that we say. So how can you make a video from elsewhere into a TikTok, not just a video? Because if it is a video, unless it's like David Attenborough, really, really good and entertaining, people swipe off because they're on TikTok to look at TikToks, not to look at videos. David Attenborough, love that guy. <laughs> oh dear. Have you lost them? No, 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 we're still here, we're still all right. I usually lose the questions halfway through, so. Uh, Dolan Bone said, you uh, get them to send the products. It was all about products. How do big TikTok re-upload? How do big TikTok accounts re-upload other people's content and get millions of views? Now, this is I the thing. That, that, yeah, just don't do it. You don't own the content. Yeah. It, at some point, TikTok is going to clamp down on this. Is yeah. that, that people can steal content left, right and centre. But in reality, these accounts do get shut down all the time. Yeah. You might see a video... And if you, if you make a note of that account and go and look for it again in two weeks' time, it probably isn't there. People are just trying yeah, to make TikTok it quick. TikTok are really kind of... What's the word? They are starting to ban people for so stuff like that. If, now, if so. I go to a, like a, a crude place of a website that did this very, very, very famously for a long time and they've only just clamped down on it now after huge pressure, is porn up. So, is there a new See, I'm going to go Why are we talking about that on the TikTok live? Because it's banned. We're not going to get banned. So, what happened on that website is loads of people uploaded loads of content. So, on that website, which I'll try not to say the word again just in case TikTok banners, people could just manually upload. And now, in order to get content on that website, you have to be a verified content creator because you can imagine the stuff that they were having a problem with. But as a platform, in order to grow to the biggest website in the world, they just ignored all the rules. Now, at some point, that caught up with them, and I think the same will happen with TikTok, that they are kind of ignoring copyright rules. If I upload a video from Sky Sports at the minute, they wouldn't do anything about it. At some point in the future, it will just be a lot harder to do. But at the minute, they want people on the platform, so a little bit they don't care, but if it's your account, you'll lose your account at some point. Yeah, absolutely. Don't upload content you don't know. It's just not, not right. Not. So... Um... Scott and Sal's said, we only get views from videos on our camera roll that we took. Well, keep, keep posting. Yeah, do, uh, yeah, post your content, don't steal content would be my advice across, yeah. across the board. Uh, yeah. it, it can be tempting, and we've seen it like, we've got clients that have like their products been on TV and they kind of like record the video off Sky. We well, can't do, you're not allowed to do it. And when you explain that to them, well, they've made an advert and they've used content they don't own. So I'm just like, just be careful because any time you're doing something that's not allowed, eventually you will get caught up with. Yeah. Katie said the girlies' videos are great. We use and do some of the educational. Hey, so Katie, Weasel and the Bug and uh, Bernard, our goalkeeping friend, kind of met or we kind of introduced them on the TikTok live because I know that Katie's daughter is into goalkeeping and now they've been watching some of the videos, which I really enjoy. Katie also says, highly recommend the call. My orders and hashtags are gold. So thank you, Katie. If anyone wants an order or hashtags. Yeah. And if you want it, if you don't just believe Katie because you think that I'm paying her to say that, even though we're not, um, is um, go and have a little look at our trust pilot reviews because I think they are the most glowing. So Love Writing Co said, uh, hi guys, what do you think about reposting videos that you've already posted a while ago? Um, can you go back and repost on your own account now, or does that not work? No, you repost others. I would say, I, I don't do it personally. Um, I think it, 
it can work. If, if a video is done well once, it you know it's likely that. It'll Could you reply well to it though? Do part two? Do updated? Would that be the way to duet it? You could it? stitch it, or you could duet it to kind of get some of that traction back. I assume because obviously they had a very really viral, viral video. video. So if if that's kind of what you're talking about, the reason that your video went viral was because it was about a current trend, and obviously that trend is was from you know six months a year ago. So if you were to repoke. If you were to repost that exact video now, it will probably not. My gut is don't much. repost the exact video. My, my heart is telling me it probably will work, but my gut is saying don't repost the exact video. Repurpose that video, respond to it, yeah. duet it, do something, interact with it, reply to it. I, d I don't know, but don't just repost the same video. Yeah, again. so while we're on that topic, so on this new strategy that I've you know been doing, um, I've been doing. We post three TikToks a day, and one of those three TikToks, so we have one trend, one talking video, and one video that I've recreated from a successful video. So I go onto your analytics and go onto the trending content. It'll show you the I like this on videos. desktop. I know you tend to do it on app. Oh, yeah. But I, I went on this on desktop, and you can, if you go into analytics on TikTok desktop and see, I think it's really clear to see. So when you have this video from a year ago that's doing well that you might have missed, it will tell it, it tells you in 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 uh, TikTok analytics on desktop which videos are performing well like that week, and that can be quite interesting. I've been using that to look at repurpose.io to decide which videos I then use on different platforms, basically. Yeah. So I try and post a video that's done well in the past, but like a different version of that video. So if you've got like. Uh, a video that's done quite well or has gone viral or whatever instead of reposting it think what what was that video was that a trending video about a certain topic why not make uh, an educational video about the same topic or why not use the same trend for a different a different topic and you take take little bits of that that successful viral video and incorporate it into your into your different videos that you're posting so um fragrant nerd said uh, TikTok flag it if you just repost the same video again, which is quite interesting. So yeah, it, same don't. And then he said something about that website. He used PH rather than the name of the website, which I did, looking at data analytics because you could get over the surface level what it is. It's very interesting. Yeah, I'm sure it is, but we don't have to look at that. <laughs> um, I asked TikTok content about reposting. People don't understand IP law. I, I completely agree, which is like international property law. We saw it like you see it in influencer agreements and any of you that use an influencers, it's really important to nail down who owns the con content. So if we get a content creator to do something for us, we are quite specific of how we intend to use that content. Do we own it? Can we use it on every platform? Can we take it to Vimeo? Am I selling you this content just to use on TikTok? Like you do have to nail that stuff down and people don't, they just think, we, I just get it all the time where they go, oh, well they're using my product, I can use the video. I'll go, you can't just steal somebody's video, but they do. So, but eventually it catches up and catches out and um, yeah. So Love Writing Co said, Fab, thanks guys, you're doing fab. So, thanks. <laughs> um, three or four companies. So, I think the, the only thing about when you're getting your content stolen, in a weird way, that's good. Do you know, it means you're doing something right if they're. But, yeah, but it's annoying. We've had a few people take our reels and post them on their reels, and it drives me crazy. Yeah, it's just like Anna on their reels, but. I'm like, at the end of the day, they're like pushing us and branding us. I know it's not the end of the... Not if people don't think that's us. Awesome I know, yeah, but eventually you'll be so big that they see Anna's face, they know who it is, superstar, they go, oh, that's Anna from Morgan Branding. So, <laughs> yeah, so it, it's tricky, but uh, I mean, we've had it with websites in the past where people have like stolen a whole website. Like, I don't even know how they've done it. They've just like stolen it and redone it. So, but people do it all the time. And in reality... It's very hard to spend your life like catching up and stopping these things. You've just got to keep chugging your own uh, way. TikTok. Yeah, I, I know. What you, like you said, say you get three to four million views. I know I'm doing good. It, it's theft. It is, but like for example, this week we had our barriers. We have a barrier at the office. The intercom stolen. It cost fifteen hundred quid. 
but nobody's ever going to catch or stop the person doing it. So I can worry about that all the time, or I can just kind of go, right, I'll replace my barrier, I'll keep doing what I'm doing, I'll move on. So that's how I kind of view these things. If you get a bit bogged down in the fact that it's an injustice and whatever, it can it can slow you down. So all I go is just keep going, keep letting them copy you. Not keep letting them copy you, keep reporting it when you see them copying you, but just keep pushing them. When you're being copied, it means you're doing good stuff. Could you tell me more about TikTok shop? We've, we've avoided TikTok shop for one day until nine minutes before the end. So, TikTok shop, um, uh, yes, I would recommend it. <laughs> However, it is a little bit of a faff to set up, but once it is set up, it's definitely worthwhile. It allows people to literally buy your products in the app, you know, making it as easy as possible for the customer to actually purchase something. So. I think it is worth so, so problems that we've come across is we're service based, you can't list service based stuff on it, you can only list products. So if you're not a product, only list products. It can be a faff to set up. It used to only link to Shopify, you can now do it without Shopify. When you link it to Shopify, some of the products don't work. If you've got lots of products, it's a bit of a faff. Mm -hmm. But from the people that have it set up and it's working, they're saying it is worthwhile, it's another income stream, it's only going to get bigger. Do you know, TikTok are really pushing it. So we would say, if you're a product-based business, get them in the TikTok shop, like you would maybe want to get them on Amazon or Etsy or eBay or whatever. It's another stream to give a go. I think a lot of people are starting to buy from TikTok shop as well, like, or just TikTok in general, but... Well, it's back to what, like, I... Because I'm a little bit older than Anna and go, I probably wouldn't, but I don't really buy anything anyway. So what, do you know, I'm not target audience. So you've got to see... Trends are changing. I was like, nobody uses TikTok to search. And I was like, I plan my whole holiday on TikTok. So, do you know, just because you think you don't buy and do actions doesn't mean that other people aren't doing them actions. So, I, I do think it's worth looking into, you know, and, and getting set up. Yeah. So, I think we're probably just about there. If anyone's got any final questions, um, we are going to get off. Uh, no person. Hmm. If if you're a personalization business, I don't think Might it will work. work. You need like an individual product, like that people can a buy kind of diet Pepsi directly and buy that. Well, if it's a personalization thing, I just don't think it works currently in the way TikTok shop is set up. Yeah. If you have any products that are bog standard, you have five hundred on a shelf and you can just pick one up and sell it. It will work. Anything away from that. I don't think so. Yeah, there's no option for people to kind of insert their... Personalisation stuff. Details. Just think of it of like walking into Tesco. Like, yeah. you can't go into Tesco, well, apart from as to create your own pizza, which is my favourite thing in the world. Ooh. Like, it, apart from them bits of it, like you walk into a shop, you buy the product and that's it. So, um, super. Um, finally got TikTok shop set up after months. So Love Writing Co have writing products, so that's perfect for them. Um, do we have to buy the products and sell them? So, no, you just list your products on TikTok shop. So you don't have to buy them, the customers are buying them, but they need to be a, a physical thing, a physical product that somebody can just go click and buy, not click on, change it, whatever. Do you know, it, it's um, it, it's got to be there and ready to go. So thank you to everyone that's joined us this afternoon. I think that's uh, about it. We have a mailing list for those of you that are new. So if you join the mailing list from the link in the bio, um, that we kind of let you know when we're going live. And yeah, added... we, send, um, we send trends out every week that businesses can use, so they're always business friendly, you know, copyright free. Um, we send three trends every single Monday slash Tuesday. Yo, Tuesday, Michael, Monday. I'm saying yo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you want to receive trends, tips and notifications when we're going live, then sign up to the TikTok newsletter in our bio. Um, anything else? No. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. See you next week. See you next week.